new season. I might, for my first question, I might actually go back maybe just over 12 months. And I suppose when you were starting the last campaign in the summer of 2020, could you really envisage the, the 12 months you would have had where, I suppose, you weren't, to the average fan, you probably weren't, you know, in the front of their minds, but by the end of the season, you were pretty much in Leinster's first choice 15 and you were playing pretty much every minute of every game for Ireland as well. Yeah, it's been a mad 12 months. Um, no, I can't say I was expecting it, to be honest. Um, you can always have hopes and goals and set out where you want to be um, in 12 months, but it was sort of, yeah, um, it was sort of a mad season as it was a mad year in itself. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of highs and, and lows al along the way. Um, yeah, some seriously tough games. Um, but it was a great experience overall and uh, I loved it and yeah, ready to go again now. When you have a season like you just had, how do you kind of reset things and actually map out what your goals are for the coming season? Because I imagine you can't really you can't really push them as far as what you did in the last twelve months. Like you know, you don't want to you don't want to end up with the kind of dreaded second album sy syndrome, you know? Exactly, yeah, no, it's gonna be different challenges for me this year for sure. Um, I suppose the big thing for me that I want to improve on last season is the team success and to be part of winning teams. I suppose we got the Pro 14, I think, twice last year in the last 12 months, but it's really the Champions Cup and the international success that you really want to be pushing on to and um, being involved in those teams. And that's those are the days you want to be there for and doing it for and your family and friends to be there which is supporting you along the way so um, I think that's the big thing for me this season to try push myself to get better and the team to get better to be to be in the mix to be winning those competitions and finally for me then new season new competition the United Rugby Championship how how important do you think it is that the South African teams obviously you Bulls first this weekend but how important is it for the South African teams to really hit the ground running because the Pro 14, it never really got going. There was always question marks over how good the South African teams were and how good would it be if they were really competitive in these first couple of months? Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a doubt at all. Like um, There are serious, serious sides that are coming in. I think Bulls this weekend, they're probably the form side out of the South Africans winning the Curry Cup there about two weeks ago. Um, and they're going to be a serious challenge. Like to start with them is going to be a big, big task. Um, they've obviously come off the back of maybe beating South Africa A and um, a number of games, and they're I suppose um, in in the middle of their season while we're starting ours. So it's a challenge in itself in that regard. But I think it's great to have them in. They're going to I suppose offer a different challenge. They're obviously very physical, big sides, and I think it's exactly what we need as a team here in Leinster I think it's the sides that you're going to start facing in the Champions Cup then they're very similar to the, to the likes of La Rochelle's and these teams that we've I suppose come undone against in, in the past so it's going to be great for us I think Alright Hugo best luck for the season Cheers thanks Neil uh, Claire McNamara Sinead is after dropping off the call so if you want to jump in next uh, over to you please Yeah Claire. sure yeah yeah Thank you. just wondering um Hugo, um, in terms of, we were talking to Felipe a little bit about the new rules and stuff. What's that been like for the players? Is there much talk about it or how much has it come into to preparation? Yeah, yeah, we've addressed it. And I suppose the big one for me is probably that 50-20 rule and how it affects the backfield. And I think it just puts a bit more pressure on us. Um, I don't think it's going to change how we play or anything like that. But I think um, you might be getting it a bit more from the forwards if any kicks go in behind you and go into the 22 and... I suppose we've been replicating it in training and in that Quinns game and even in the, um, I suppose, the other rules in the back end of the Rainbow Cup as well last year. So we're familiar with it. We've uh, definitely discussed it and stuff, but it's probably not at the forefront of our minds. It's probably focusing more on our own game and uh, individual performances and the team performance and, um, yeah. And just in terms of uh, your opener at the Aviva, I think you've about 38,000 will be allowed in, I think, is it? Just what's that like to kind of have that back? I know Gary Ringrose was talking last week about being able to feed off that energy. Yeah, it's so exciting. Like it's um, it's been not boring over the last month playing in front of no fans, but it's not the same, is it? And we've gotten a taste of it through, I suppose, 
the back end of last season and then into the Irish internationals and then talking to all the lads who played in the Harlequins game they loved it and the difference 10,000 made at that game and if we can get anything near 38,000 it'd be incredible and like we're all really excited here to to play in front of the fans again and in front of that many and I think um, it's a perfect game for it as well the Bulls it's going to um, challenge us so much and it's a bit it's obviously a new um, new team we're facing and there's a bit of that excitement to it as well so hopefully we can get a big big crowd out because it does help as Gary was saying and um, it's it's exciting and yeah it'll be great to get a bit of, bit of a buzz back in the Viva Great thanks Hugo Cheers Claire uh, Jan if you're still on the call uh, he may have dropped off as well so uh Jerry um, or Alan Doyle. Alan, you didn't have a question in the first uh, segment, so Alan, if you have a question. That's just our ingest oh, taping. Okay, um, no yeah. <laughs> Jerry, over to you, so. Yeah, hi, Hugo. Welcome back. Um, Thanks, Jerry. Just uh, in relation to your, your own game last year, you, you had such a, a, a fantastic year, and uh, you know, as, as as Neil mentioned there, you know, you maybe weren't on the radar uh, for, of people to uh, have such a, a really good season. So I wonder, does, so what sort of pressure does, does it put, put on to your own game, this I'd say second season kind of syndrome? Is there a bit of pressure with that? Yeah, I suppose there is um, a bit of pressure to back up from last year and your opposition's going to know you a lot more and because I played a good amount of games last season, they're going to have a lot more clips on me. Um, they're going to start to know me, how I play, and I suppose it's about strengthening my strengths and trying to uh, not expose my weaknesses and to work on them to, I suppose, improve as a player and, um, yeah, to back up last season and to, to kick on. So it, it is definitely new challenges for me, yeah. Okay, and uh, second question then, if I can. Um, I you know, playing at full back as well, it, it's, uh, it's a fairly pivotal position. So, you know, are you looking forward to uh, particularly playing in the South African teams? They're quite physical. You know, it's a different style of rugby maybe you'll encounter there. Yeah, definitely. It's going to certainly be a few more and different challenges um, playing against those sides. They're obviously hugely physical, powerful teams and... I suppose like their international team, they go to the air quite a lot and um, they're very good in that regard and they'll put you under pressure. So I suppose even in the Lions series, you could see how much teams are going to those attacking kicks and putting the fullbacks under pressure. So um, it's definitely an area of importance for me and something I'm keeping on working. And um, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a good challenge, but one I'm looking forward to now. Okay, thanks Jerry. Uh, 